morning, folks. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Today's the <laughs> Tuesday shave. <laughs> this uh, soap is made by uh, Barrister Man. It's on a uh, limited run, from what I understand. This one here came, by the way, of uh, Shave.net. And I'll show you what the uh, soap looks like there on the inside. And it's it's fairly firm in the uh, in the puck there, but it's it's still you can scrape it out pretty easy with a spoon and um, put it in a shave bowl like I did. As you can tell here, it's a lavender and violet, and uh, you can definitely, uh, with my nose being as as simple as it is, I can I can pick that up, come right off off the puck, and uh, oh by the way, this is four ounces also. The um, scent's pretty nice. I don't mind lavender and violet. Those are pretty good scent profile there for me. Anyway, I've got the Allen Block complete with rubber band this morning. We've got the unscented witch hazel with it's mentholated, and decided that I would follow up today's shave with uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Crown King uh, lavender and cedar. Thought it might be a good one to follow up. Still uh, got some left of the uh, criminal beard oil. And I've got it whipped over here in the um, a bowl from uh, the Stinctive Goat. It's a wooden one. And this one here, yeah, it's just the, um, it's made out of walnut. And uh, I've got it whipped up here with a uh, purple brush from Maggard's. See, it whips up pretty nice. It's, um, I got plenty of lather whipped up in there. Whipped up pretty nice. This is my first time go with uh, Barrister and Man. I um, never used their products before. I've heard a lot about them. And it looks like this is going to be pretty creamy. It smells wonderful. Also, this is going to be a first time go also for the... Uh, for me, it's a, um, a very unique shaver. This is the brass version of the Razorine. I have a Wilkinson sword blade loaded up. It's made in Italy. That's what the other side looks like. If you can see it, if the glare is not too terribly bad. And I've had a few comments over the past few videos about my sound, so I think that's an indication that I may have. One, I'm going to have to speak up, and two, it's probably about that time for a new camera. This one here is a fairly old one. Oh, by the way, there's Wilkinson's sword there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a fairly old one, so I may end up having to get a new camera if I can decide on one. It's going to be kind of tough to do. Last time I looked, it was, uh, I noticed, I guess you might say, being a uh, pre shaped soap here. The uh, selections wasn't quite what I expected back in from when I remember when I got this video camera. And I have never made a video off of a phone, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work for me. I know I like the idea of being able to take the memory card out, put it in the computer, and upload my video in about seven minutes or thereabouts and do my thing with it. So I'll try to speak up in order to keep the uh, audio up a little bit higher, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> it could be I was just talking a little bit soft also. It is, uh, time-wise for me, it is almost 4.30 in the morning. So, most everybody else is still asleep. School starts uh, this coming Thursday. So... Boy, howdy. The kids are already <laughs> on their countdown. Man, this smells good. Manny, this is a pretty nice smell of soap. Violets and lavender. Humphreys makes a witch hazel that's uh, lilac that might pair up with this pretty good. Haven't found another bottle of it just yet. 
my wife ended up with what was the left of the other bottle that I had that was uh, lilac scented. But definitely, I, I smelled violets, which is pretty cool. My nose can pick it up. That's that's pretty good indication there. Weather around here has been. We're under a flash flood watch right now, so expected to get just a wee bit of rain. All right, so here we go. Razor rain. If you haven't seen the video, I'll include uh, try to include a couple of links down below. Geo Fat Boy. In other words, this came from Shave Nation. Uh, I'll include a couple of links with a couple of different videos, folks that are shaving with this one. And um, from what I understand, this is supposed to stay on the outside, not on the inside. So we're going to see if I can figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> It's supposed to be similar. To the DE. When you bring it up to your face. That's. Yeah, that's pretty easy. A lot easier than what I was expecting. Should say this comes in two different versions. This one here is brass, and the other version comes in chrome. I like the a brass a brass brass <laughs> a brass shaver looks pretty cool to me. I do like chrome. But for a change, Raz is pretty cool looking. With that safety bar there, I think it's going to make it a lot easier for many folks to, to, to shave with this. Don't be surprised. If you don't see some individuals um, <clears throat> make modifications to this shaver, the reason why I say that is because of the um, uh, it's not uncommon for at least for me to be for people to see they'll change how this handle will look. If you notice some of the uh, Camasori style uh, shavers, they'll wrap a You'll either put this in uh, the handle in uh, like some kind of rubberized handle, plastic, something of the sort. I am uh, <laughs> not one that switches hands. I um, no, I, I can't switch hands. I say I can't because I really just do not trust my left hand to uh, do what it's supposed to do with a sharp object. It's going to take me a few shaves to get used to it. The design is pretty well, it's, it's, I'll have to show you again, because I don't know if you can see it in the camera, because the uh, web well, might be a little bit, may not be quite so shiny now that I've got some shaving soap on it, but you kind of see the edges there, each the toe and the heel of the blade, how it comes up and meets, I guess you might say the end of the safety bar. I kind of feel that it does seems to help me through the shave and I uh, can't tell for sure if I caught myself right there or not. I kind of felt like I may have. For the most part the learning curve it should be fairly um, not very steep at all. 
No, at least not in my opinion. Especially if you've been shaving with a shave app, you'll uh, you'll pick up on it pretty easy. Lay the head up against your face. You can kind of feel the blade. So that way you get the angle that you're looking for. I've got plenty enough soap right here to be shaving with. It's a, a pretty smooth shaver. Can't get over this thing. I did catch myself over there, I think. I think Down Block's going to find it for me if it doesn't start bleeding. Like I say, it's going to take me a moment to get used to uh, using it. Against the grain. It's going to feel an <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to feel an awful lot like a um, a DE when you shave with it. Even though you're holding it like this, it's going to feel like a DE going across there. I guess you might say a regular one. In other words, that safety bar makes all the difference in the world. So when it comes to um, if you're lining up for a beard or anything like that, I'm not too sure. Um, in other words, I would have every expectation that this uh, lineup would be very much similar to, to using a DE also. You got the safety bar right there. The biggest part is for you to learn or figure out how to What's going to be work best for you to hold this? Whether you want to hold it further down on some strokes and then choke up on some others, you'll have to. In other words, it has that kind of learning curve, but it's not anything. See, I did. I thought I did. It's not anything I don't think somebody couldn't pick up on, though. Did not get my angle right over there. That's what I know. That's when I felt it. I knew that's what happened. I think I caught it on the um, on the toe of the blade. User, you know, user did that. In other words, it's not the shaver. It's just something to pay attention to. Kind of figure, you know, it's bound to happen with a new shaver. At some point in time, you're going to have nicks, cuts. Once you get used to it, I can't imagine it's, this is going to be pretty easy going. Wilkins' sword blade is really giving me a pretty smooth shave, though. Not bleeding too terribly bad, though. See how smooth this is. <clears throat> See if I need to do anything, attempt to do anything across the grain. This feels pretty creamy. Two pass shave, Wilkinson sword. The typical one right through there. See if I can't pick that up.
two pass shave this would be what the you know the term of sociably acceptable right through there which is not uncommon let me see if I can get most of that off my neck there <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't uh, pick that up And if you're wondering, there was plenty of slickness there. I didn't necessarily have to, <coughs> excuse me, lather back up. You can kind of tell that it's not that tough to do across the green pass. There it is right there. This is pretty cool though. And I say it's just a matter of getting used to this kind of shaver. Yep, I got most of it. I don't try for a VBS. Most of what uh, I'm feeling is not necessarily visible, especially with my <laughs> my beard being mostly white. It's still got some black left in it. In my younger days, it was uh, my beard was more uh, more brown, brown red as opposed to black and just over the years has changed. So as the, with the whiskers, they were fairly thick to begin with, but then uh, they weren't necessarily this, uh, how you say, stiff. That seems to be the trend as you get older. Something to think about if you're younger and when you're starting to shave in your <clears throat> Over time, your routine might need to change because your whiskers are changing. At least mine sure did. It's not too bad then. Say it's not bleeding, but it's definitely there. Like Steve Hardy mentions when he's uh, mentioning using the uh, supply injector, it's got the Thumb screw on the back. Make sure you got your stopper in. <laughs> For me, I I prefer not only to have the stopper in, but to have the um, uh, a towel in front of me. <clears throat> Excuse me. That way, the um, if I do drop it, if it lands on the towel, maybe it might actually stick in my fluffy towel. Once again, that's what it looks like on the front. Go ahead and take this thumb screw off. At least if it lands in the sink, the stopper's there. Try not to drop it. There we go. There's your thumb screw and it's brass. You can go ahead and just take the top plate off. That's what it looks like on the underside there. There's the Wilkinson sword. And there's the rest of it on the underside of the cap there. Can I tell it's not as it goes for an arch, there's not a whole lot there. Like I said, that's user error. <laughs> it's bound to happen. Go ahead and catch it with some uh, witch hazel now. I'm going to lay this blade off to the side. This is a lot of fun. I haven't shaved with a shaver like this in quite a while. And what I mean by that, that where it's um, the challenge is uh, not only to, to get the angle 
It's got a safety bar on it, training wheels, if you will. Uh, like I said, if you, once you learn, get your angle just like you would with a regular DE, and you uh, learn how to keep your angle. I think the idea is to keep your wrist stiff, move with your arm. In some cases, I have learned to. <laughs> Shave with, in other words, just turn your head, just keep it right there and just shave with the head. Just whatever technique works for you. But this one here might be the easier one to start out with when it comes to a, uh, a shavette style. And the handle, uh, if you're used to something that's round, this one here is relatively flat. So there's that, that quote unquote, that learning curve with this one here. That's what it looks on the underside. Again. I don't know if I can catch it in the camera that these uh, slots are angled. I don't know if you can catch that or not. It's pretty cool. A solid piece. Menthol's working on the face. This is about the closest thing I've got to go with a uh, lavender and violet scented soap, lavender cedar, and. Um, Definitely can smell the cedar in this one. But just, in my opinion, just right in behind what I pick up with my nose on the cedar that's out of the container here is the lavender. So how it works on the dry down up for you might be different than what you're smelling straight out of the container. Got some shaving cream there. It's not too bad. Like I say, it must be more of a nick in, than a cut. It'll take me a little while to get used to keeping the angle. I know I'll get there though, because first time this went pretty smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, this is a. Uh, for me, it's really exciting. I, I have a. Sometimes I have a hard time verbalizing that, <laughs> getting it out. But this is a lot of fun. I saw this, uh, I guess it would be about seven months ago in a video. And I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. I'll put a link to his video down below. And uh, when I saw him shave with it the first time, I'm talking about real excited. It's like, this is definitely something I've got to try. This is just way too cool. Like I say, with the safety bar there, it's not quite like a shavette. I mean, the, the blade exposure is there, but you got your safety bar to help with uh, helping you with your angle, if you will. Just really cool. Don't uh, like I say this is the brass one. The chrome one is available also, unless he unless uh, Shave Nation is sold out. And uh, just really happy with this. So, man, this thing. I could shave with this one all week. Like I say, this one here came by the way of shave.net. I have a link down below. Just, if you, if you like violet, lilac, or even lavender, all those kind of scents, this one here being one to get. And it's on a limited run from what I was reading about it. I guess it's only going to be made through, in other words, the end of July. So if you're wanting to get some of this soap, you might want to get it before it disappears. Don't know if you're going to get lucky enough to find it on the buy-sell trade at the end of the deal. I had a great shape. Even with the neck, that's still, that's a pretty good shave. I'll take it. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and the smooth shaves to you.